What's the channel, guys? Um, slightly different topic this time. <clears throat> Talking about blending. <laughs> I've been listening to Dr. Eric Berg, and um, he's got loads and loads of videos. He's qualified. Uh, he knows everything about diets and nutrition and biology and human biology, etc., etc. So he's a good guy to listen to if you're trying to control your weight and you want to know things about your your glucose intolerance and vitamins and, and just just there's tons of stuff dr eric berg go check him out because it is really very cool uh, whether you agree with it or not so what i've been doing is um i've started blending kale uh, a little bit of ginger a little bit of black pepper a little bit of turmeric um blueberries uh and some kefir yogurt that's one of the things that he goes on about because i want to increase uh, some of the biomes and the and the um, bile that I produce to, to help me break down food. So I've been trying out various blenders and I've tried a couple now. Um, they charge up using USB-C, um, but the great thing about it is you can just pop all your stuff in there, screw the lid tight, and then you can just crack on to work. So during work, you can decide actually, you know, I'll give them a whiz now and, um, you know, drink your smoothie. So you don't have to stand there with, you know, in your kitchen zipping away and then pouring it into something else, all the rest of it. So I tried a couple. Um, they they were USB-C, they were portable. They were quite small. I think you see them on Amazon, you know the ones. They're about 20 quid. Um, but I was a little bit skeptical, but I thought, you know, I'll buy one anyway, give it a try. Um, but they're just not powerful enough. Um, and um, I did buy two, but one was a present for someone, but one for myself, and my, my motor actually sort of started to give up. Um, so periodically you try and turn it on, it just doesn't, doesn't spin up at all. So, that was kind of a real no-no. And I thought, you know what? Just bite the bullet, buy something decent, and see what goes on. So I've ordered myself a Ninja Blast. Um, so it's, a, again, USB chargeable Ninja Blast portable blender. Um, and I just thought I'd jump on a quick video because I was actually quite blown away by the cool packaging. It comes in this tube, which is really awesome. Um, and it's got everything written on there. Portable blending power, blast through frozen fruit and ice. So it should be really powerful. Um, smooth smoothies, crushes ice effortlessly for cocktails and slushes. Ninja's most compact and quietest blender. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to this. Um, uh, the, the tube's a lot bigger than I thought the actual uh, actual product will be. So you know I'm gonna open it now and let you guys have a look. Um, it's so cool, this packaging, it's rock solid. Um, I, I think it's awesome. I know it's a really simple thing, but I think it's really awesome. So I'm just going to pop some stickers off here. There we go. And okay. So <clears throat> first off, in the lid, looks like base. So that's quite cool. Very well packaged, I have to say. I absolutely, just in case you didn't get that the first time, I love the packaging. Okay, it's a nice bag. Everything feels quality. I know I'm going on about the packaging a bit too much, but everything is quality. Even the bag that it's come in, it's not one of these terrible flimsy bags. It's, it's, it's probably a Tyveg bag, so it's probably Unfortunately, it might have a bit of plastics in it, but you know, it's a decent, nice, quality product. There's nothing cheap about it. Um, and uh, as I say, the bag, it's not like a paper bag. Um, it just feels really good. So, right. Little push button here. That's a nice touch. Push release. Very cool. So literally, fake your drink, drink it straight down. Let's just unscrew the lid. Oh my God, there's even more stuff in here. Okay. Right, okay. It's it's a chunky boy. It's definitely a chunky boy. And the blades are huge. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, yeah, you should be able to see that. Blades are huge. Um, Wow. Before use, fully charged blender for two hours. So that is exactly what I'll be doing. Um, when solid purple, press for 30 seconds blend mode. Uh, 
So when it goes solid purple, we know we're ready to go. Um, motor base is splash resistant, however, is not dishwasher safe. Rinse blades to clean, do not submerge base. So basically, don't put this blue section in the dishwasher. I know some people would, don't. Um, so just in case you didn't catch it the first time, here are the blades. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty serious stuff. So, uh, yeah. I obviously need to charge it up. Um, and I will charge it up and then I will let you know with another video how it goes. So, um, yeah. So far, really pleased with the build quality. I mean, it really is. You know, when you buy Ninja stuff, I guess that's what you expect. Um, I'm still not sure what that is, but the instructions will tell me. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, I would imagine it's a base. If you wanted to just use it as a cup. There you go. Base that converts it into a cup. Not sure how you'd use that if you've made your drink on there, but yeah. I'll read the instructions and find out. But uh, so far, so good. This feels really solid, really good. Um, and I'm really pleased with it. So, as I say, check back in a bit. And um, part two will be me actually making my breakfast with this, and uh, I'll let you know how it goes live. So, welcome back. Part two of the Ninja Blast um, unboxing. Um, I've followed their instructions. Hopefully, you can see this. There we go. So, I've followed their instructions, and what they say is you should put your thicker liquids at the bottom, then any of your soft vegetables or, or fruit on top of that, and then any frozen bits put on top of that and then finalise with a bit of water on top. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of water on top of there um, and then I'm going to blast away for you. So just bear in one second. Actually, I'll show you how easy it is to do. Um, what I'm going to do is unscrew this lid. Okay, and I'm going to put some water in there. Not too much, but just enough to top it up a little bit. So let's top that up. Okay, so I'll put a huge amount, just enough to you can see it start pop the lid back on. And again, the nice thing about this that I did spot during the unboxing is it comes with a base. So if you do end up whizzing and creating your smoothie, um, you don't have to continually take the base away. Um, simply turn it upside down, unscrew the motorized blending uh, section, pop the base, screw the base on the bottom, and then you've got a, a walk around um, drink canister. So I'll get on with the whizzing. Um, first we turn the power on, and it says we've got to wait for this to go solid before we start whizzing away. Now, the previous blenders that I was using um, took probably eight or nine attempts to get even close to being smooth. So let's see what this baby does. was quite a long spin compared to what I've had previously from others that was really that was probably that felt like 30 seconds um, out of others I'm getting 10 seconds I can see that that is already massively smooth personally I like it a bit smoother so I'm gonna give it another go let's see what this battery is like
that's unreal. I mean, I know this is a you know a fifty pounds ish uh, blender, but literally I was paying twenty quid for some sort of cheaper variants. And although this is double the price, this is more than. Ugh, if I was giving a score out of 10, I'd give those other blenders probably a one, if I'm brutally honest. This, this has to be a 10, it has to be. The build quality is absolutely rock solid. Um, that's two blends, and this thing is already, let's just pop the lid. That's incredible. That is so smooth already. I'm gonna give it one more blend. Just because I can. Job done, job done. So <laughs> that is gonna make my life so much easier. So that was kefir yogurt, uh, washed kale, frozen blackberries, some grated ginger, and a bit of water, and in three presses, and it's still got plenty of charge left, you know, it's ready to go. Um, that is amazing, that is amazing. I'm going to have this for breakfast now, um, I think from a rinsing point of view, rinsing aspect, I'll put some water up to the minimum water level, about here, um, a drop of washing up liquid, put the lid on, and I'll whiz it a few times, pour it away, and then I'll rinse it again. This base is not waterproof, um, obviously splash proof, but you don't want to immerse this in water. So for me, I'm going to rinse the top section purely by adding some water and letting it blend the water and the, and the soap for uh, a couple of spins then I'll pour it away, rinse it with, with cold water, um, and then see how clean that gets. If I've got any concerns, then I'll obviously unscrew the top section, give the give the uh, the, the, the cutting head a little bit of a brush with it with, uh, with over the sink, um, and away we go. So that's done, power off. Brilliant, what can I say? Ninja Blast, uh, absolutely superb. Um, I can't actually fault it. We'll see what it's like when I live with it a bit longer. Um, but uh, at the moment, it's absolutely spot on. Brilliant. USB charging, nice and easy. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> couldn't be easier. So I have to say, not that I'm, I'm not being paid to endorse this product. It is superb. So if you're looking for a portable blender, I, I would say this is the one to get. See you later.